The following presentation will outline the use of the Demo Mode feature on the Proteus controller. Demo Mode is used to simulate various probe and sensor conditions that will activate the associated alarms. This is accomplished without the need of raising floats or dunking sensors. All alarms in Demo Mode are logged as actual alarms and will appear on alarm reports. If the alarm auto print is enabled, alarms will be printed out during the test process. Please note, if programmed alarm events control pumps or other devices, the simulated alarm will cause those devices to activate or deactivate, based on programming. Careful assessment of the actions demo mode will simulate must be reviewed prior to its use. Demo mode is used for testing the operation of alarms in regards to remote enunciators and displays. Demo mode will also transmit alarm conditions through these communication methods offered by the Proteus controller. RS-232, RS-485, Modbus, Backnet, and 4 to 20 milliamp converters. Testing RAS series remote enunciators requires that MCU and or XBRB8 events have already been programmed and the units are wired correctly. Remote displays, such as the Mini-Me and Delivery Defender, require that the correct communication mode has been established. The main menu will allow you to navigate to the Proteus Diagnostic Functions through the Utilities sub-menu. Press on the Utilities button. Press on the Diagnostics button. The Diagnostics sub-menu will appear. To simulate probe alarms, select the Demo Mode Level Change button. You are directed to your first active tank. You should see that the tank indicator is normal and status line has changed to normal demo mode. You can change the tank to test by using the up and down arrows below the menu button. You will also see demo mode options in the blue shaded area. These are demo mode off, up and down arrows, and the test function you are set on. Pressing on the test functions will change from product level to water level and to temperature. For this presentation, we will use product level, but water and temperature functions work in a similar fashion. Pressing the up or down arrow will simulate an increase or decrease in the function you are testing. Please note, probes have both warning and alarm points. Warnings are not normally set to trigger remote alarms, but they will appear on the Proteus display. Pressing the up arrow will simulate a product increase or delivery. The display will automatically switch to the delivery screen, and an icon with the letter D will appear on the side of the tank illustration. Once the high warning point is reached, the tank indicator will switch to high warning, and the status line changes to warning demo mode. The controller horn will not sound. The remote enunciator will not alarm for the warning unless an MCU XBRB8 event was created for high warning alarms. Increasing the level further, it will reach the high product alarm point. The tank indicator will switch to high product and the status line changes to alarm demo mode. The controller horn will sound until the alarm acknowledge button is pressed. The system will alternately switch between the alarm message and alarm location. The remote enunciator will alarm. You can press the acknowledge test switch to silence the remote horn, the alarm light will remain lit. Pressing the Alarm Acknowledge button will switch to the current alarm screen and it shows the active alarm condition. This alarm will remain active if demo mode is enabled or the level is reduced below the alarm point. Press the Home and or Menu buttons to get back to the System Status menu. Press the Inventory button and select the tank you were using for demo purposes. You can either perform other level tests or exit demo mode. Pressing the Demo Mode Off button in the blue shaded area will exit demo mode. The icon with the letter D will remain on the tank screen until the programmed well time is reached. Factory setting is 5 minutes. The tank indicator and status line will change back to normal as the volume returns to its actual level. To simulate sensor alarms, select the demo mode sensor alarm test button. This button is used to turn on and off sensor demo mode. You are directed to a modified view all sensor screen, where all the installed sensors will be displayed. You should see that the status line has changed to normal demo mode. In some versions of the Proteus firmware, there were three test buttons. Sensor alarm number one, sensor alarm number two, and no reply. 
The no reply was removed as timing issues made that test inconclusive. The sensor alarm number one and sensor alarm number two will invoke a test based on the type of sensor you are testing. An example, on a BXLS, both buttons will produce a liquid alarm. Product distinguishing sensors will produce a product or water alarm, and a temperature sensor will produce a high or low temp alarm. When the alarm is triggered, the system will alternately switch between the alarm message and the alarm location. Unlike the level demo mode, sensor alarms do not remain active when the button is pressed. Therefore, if you have a remote enunciator, MCU, XBRB8 event programmed, it will activate, but may clear itself before you could press the acknowledge test switch. The system will automatically reset itself, after a few seconds, and the alarm will clear. If the alarm acknowledge button is pressed at this time, you are directed to the active alarm screen, but the alarm data may have already reset. If the alarm acknowledge button is pressed before the alarm cleared message is displayed, the controller will switch to the active alarm screen, showing the alarm information. Press the home and or menu buttons to get back to the system status menu. If you need to do additional sensor testing, press the sensor status button and then view all sensors button. Repeat the test process as previously noted. If you are done testing, return to the diagnostics screen and press the sensor alarm test button to turn off demo mode. This completes the presentation of the Proteus demo mode feature.